Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and within this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I stitch together all of the Veo 3 video clips that I've created and then publish my YouTube video. I publish my videos to YouTube. So if you haven't checked out my Veo 3 step by step tutorial video, very long, very in depth video, watch that first so that you can learn how to create AI generated videos using Veo 3. And after you've created those video clips, and at the time of filming this, they're up to eight seconds in duration. After you've created those video clips, you follow my tutorial, you've created your video clips, and you've downloaded those video clips, then watch this video. And within this video, what I'll do is show you step by step how I piece all of those eight second duration video clips together. And then, you know, there may be some where I perform a few minor edits, but my workflow and I'm using one specific uh, Bigfoot goes to St. Bart's as an example video, but you'll see how I created the individual clips for the Big Bigfoot goes to St. Bart's, how I stitched them together, which is what you're going to learn within this video, and ultimately watching the video, the finalized video, after I posted it to YouTube. Very fascinating stuff. Veo3, Vo3, however you say it, is an amazing tool from Google and it's only going to get better. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you do subscribe and ring that bell and uh, check out all my other videos too and if it really makes you feel good not required but if it really makes you feel good send me a super thanks. You can choose to do so by clicking that thanks button down below this video. Thanks for your support and y'all have a good day. So this is how I edit footage for uh, well it's Veo3 that I created. Subscribe, check out my separate step-by-step -step tutorial where I show you how I created each of these individual eight-second clips within Veo3. And at the time of filming this, all that I've done is exported from Veo3. I did the setting that you saw at the end of my Veo3 tutorial video was at the upscaled 1080p and I've pasted all of those eight second clips, the ones that I want to use. There were some I didn't want that were generated, but they weren't exactly what I wanted, so I excluded those. But now we'll go through the workflow step by step. So uh, not related to this, but I have my own intro, non-AI generated. So I've got it. Would you like a photo with me too? And the volume of that, I'll reduce the volume of my clips so that when people are, as you're watching this on YouTube, it doesn't blast you and then. Would you like a photo with me? So that sounds balanced. Likewise, I'll balance my outro clip, which is not AI generated, but I put it in for branding. Hey y'all, Captain Iris. So that sounds clean. It's not gonna burst any eardrums. So now let's go through these clips. These clips are unedited, uh, meaning that they are as they were when I exported them from Veo3. So now we're gonna go through, I've, I've placed them sequentially. So they're in the sequence that, that I want, I mean, for the, for the video. So let's go through step-by-step step here. This is a step-by-step step how I create Veo3 videos for YouTube tutorial. Would you like a photo with me too? So there's nothing I want to change with that clip. I think it's fine. Uh, this is the taxi. Take me to the airport, please. Ticket, please. And you hear the, uh, you heard the horses in that. And that's because there were horses you can see in the background right there. There were police horses, I guess, walking through New York. Now what you may want to do here, you notice that well, watch, watch real closely. Ticket, please. He didn't stand up. He just kind of shifted in the seat. But if I wanted to, I could cut out the tail end of that clip. I'm going to leave that clip as is. Ticket, please. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. So interesting, this had a bag on the counter when he walked up. That was just a weird... AI generation thing. He picked it up, realized it wasn't his, and I guess he leaves it there. So we'll just leave that in there unedited. Here's the airport security checkpoint.
I'm going to leave it as is. Now, you know, unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, while we were doing the VAO3 tutorial, and check out, subscribe and check out that video if you haven't, but these uh, captions, they were unwanted. They appeared. I, unfortunately, I don't have a way to delete them because they're part of the video. I am finally on my way to St. Bart's. I'm going to leave that clip as is. I think it's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, that had uh, captions, but I don't have a way to remove those. Excuse me, could I get your autograph? Of course, I'd be happy to. Now this right here, I may want to flip around because that was boarding the plane when he asked for the autograph. Or was he exiting the plane? Now that's up for interpretation. But then he sits in first class and he's the only one in first class. Small things, you know, he doesn't have any, he's got his fur on, but he doesn't have the board shorts on. So we'll go ahead and leave this. Dude, may I have your autograph, please? <laughs> Certainly, and would you like a photo with me too? So that was a St. Martin Airport. We'll leave it as is. And then this is the St. Martin Airport where he's boarding a small plane for St. Bart's. May I take your bags, please? Uh, yes, and thank you. <laughs> no edits necessary for that one. I say that's weird, that sheen, scene shifted. So what I'm gonna do is I'll cut it right here before he takes his hand away. So we can do a trim blade and cut that out. I finally made it to St. Bart's. This is Gustavia St. Bart's and I'm riding a moped. <sighs> Would you like to come aboard my boat for an after party? Yes! Yes, I would love to party on your yacht. Now that was the one where it didn't do, because uh, it's not Bigfoot's yacht, it's the other guy's yacht. So this clip, we'll just cut out. We don't want it. May I have a beer, please? Certainly, I'll be right back. Would you like to come aboard my boat for an after party? Yes, I would love to party on your yacht. I'm going to my first mega yacht party and it's in St. Bart's. <laughs> May I snap a photo with you, please? Please. I'm going streaking. I'm going streaking. This was the one where I had the prompt, remember, if you've watched my VAO3 tutorial, uh, where I said the board shorts too, but I guess because even though it's a Bigfoot and he has fur, it didn't want the removal of clothing. We're gonna cut this clip out, we don't want it. So we're gonna go from this clip. I'm going streaking. Let's jump. How many people are in your party, sir? Five. Oh, I see this weirdness here. The AI. Watch the guy on the right. 
he disappears. So what we're going to do is cut it. Let's just cut it right here. So we'll do a blade. It's still usable. Again, these AI is not perfect yet, but even if you don't have a perfect clip, by doing what I'm doing here, you can make it usable. How many people are in your party, sir? Five. Certainly. <laughs> That clip's still usable, and we're gonna use it as is, but the intent was that this lady was going to ask for the autograph. But it still works, because it's awkward silence. It's kind of like Bigfoot's tired of being asked for his autograph, because he's been asked for his autograph multiple times within this video. So let's, let's see how it looks. Sir? Five. Certainly. <laughs> May I take your bag, sir? Yes, you may. <laughs> now, this is an option here. May I take your bag? The pilot takes it, but even though he takes it, he pulls it away. Normally, I would cut that, but I think it's kind of funny because he says, yes, you may take my bag, but then he walks with it may anyway. May I take your bag, sir? Yes, you may. <laughs> This concludes my St. Bart's adventure. Subscribe and stay tuned. Hey y'all, Captain Iris. So not perfect. They 03 at the time of filming, this is not perfect, but it's it's amazing. So that's how I edit they 03 footage within Final Cut Pro 10 before I upload it to YouTube. So now all that I'll do is export from Final Cut Pro 10. Well, I say Final Cut Pro 10 because my brain's trained for that. It's actually Final Cut Pro 11 now. But I'll export this from Final Cut Pro 11 and upload it to YouTube. And you can watch, if you haven't already, the finished product on YouTube. And uh, thanks for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And check out all of my Bayo 3 tutorial videos. You got questions, comments, comment down below. And I'll try to post a video response. And you'll notice I'm actually publishing in 4K because my intro and outro was 4K. This is actually a 4K project, 3840 by 2160. But the Bayo 3 footage that I used was up converted 1080p. So let's, let's say when you're watching this, it's actually 1080p footage, but the intro and the outro were 4K. So you're seeing that in 4K. And in essence, the 1080p up converted is actually kind of 4K up converted because of how I exported this. So that's it. It's going to export and you'll see it on YouTube. Subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all my other videos too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and Y'all have a good day.